All right, guys, welcome to the channel. This is Catapult Carnage, my name's Chris, and this is a follow up to Slingshot Darts What Could Go Wrong. Stay tuned. So, last time I had a lot of comments, I had a lot of views, I had a lot of likes, a lot of comments. Thank you guys, I really appreciate it. Most of the comments I got were regarding the glove. People saying the glove's a great idea, the glove's necessary, other people saying, the glove's no good, it's not going to stop them. Some people actually said the glove is going to make it worse because once you hit the glove, if you do hit the glove, you're just going to push a whole bunch of leather and little steel scales into a wound. So, today first thing we're going to do is we're going to test this glove. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to go down range against my backstop. I'm going to put this dowel into the ground and I'm going to put this bell pepper on top of the dowel and then I'm going to wrap the glove around it. Okay, so we're going to do a split screen. I'm going to be in shot. You're going to see me take the shot. Hopefully I'll get it first shot, but this is in my opinion a fair test. Um, we're hitting it at the same angle, the same hand position. We've got something back there that we can see damage from. Um, we're at the angle, we're supported by the backstop, so there's, it's actually nearly a dead stop. Um, if your hand is holding the frame and you hit, you hit your hand, your hand's gonna move, so it's not going to be probably as bad is what this will be because you know it's like putting your hand against the wall and shooting it but we're going to test this glove and I'm quite confident that the glove is going to offer a great amount of protection you're going to want to wear the glove put it like that let's see what happens okay just a bit high how bad is this shot going to ricochet Two high shots again. Three high shots, man, come on. I don't want to hit the leather. So I'm kinda I'm gonna step back a small bit. Now there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. I'm just gonna switch this on to normal view. Okay, here we are. And I think this is perfect proof that the glove works extremely well. My first three shots were high. Here's the dart that hit the glove. Impacted the glove here. Obviously, <laughs> split the pepper mash the pepper that will possibly break your hand as I said these are dangerous but you have not you have not driv that look I actually pierced the dart or it actually pierced one of the scales that's how much it penetrated about two mil, two millimeters, not even. Now, that would be, let me just take this off. We're gonna shoot it again, but I'm very, very impressed. Very impressed. There's all you naysayers. That was pretty much a dead stop. Now, that would have hit there. And that is where you see the guy in the video, the clip of the video. I'll show you a clip here again now. That's where he shot himself in the hand. Warning, this is going to be graphic. Skip 10 seconds if you don't want to see it. All right. So that's where the guy hit himself in the hand. Now, you're going to be badly bruised. 
maybe even uh, have broken that bone. But guess what? You haven't impaled yourself with the dart. There's a risk comes with shooting darts. And even normal slingshots, loads of people hit themselves in the hand here with ball bearings or stones. And they, you know, badly injure themselves. So there's a risk with slingshot shooting anyway. But that proves to me that that glove works. Here you can see the damage to the pepper. And that was the impact area and it split the whole pepper. But, you know, that's a win for the glove. The glove has stopped that dart. Now, let's do, let's do a dead stop. Let me hang it like this. I feel really bad because I like this glove and I'm trashing it for your guys' entertainment. Let's leave the dart like or the glove like that and shoot one at it. Miss. I'm just getting used to shooting these darts with a wrist rocket. Which I'll show you guys in a minute because I had a lot of complaints or kind of guys complaining about the SES saying it wasn't a good design, which I'll talk about in a moment. Okay, so there's a dead stop. There's a dead stop. And we can see that that dart That dart hasn't even come through the leather. It just fell out. So, I'll ask you, there's my two impact zones. One side, there's a small little bump here. Can you see it? The other side, the tip of the dart nearly came through, but it didn't. Now, riddle me this. Would you rather have this or not have it? If you're going to shoot darts, I think, I think that is a clear test. I don't want to mess up this glove anymore because I like it and I want to keep using it and I've weakened it. So, on to the next topic of discussion. Hey, do me a favour. If you're enjoying this video, go down and hit that like button. I appreciate it. Alright, so we've established that the glove offers significant protection. And when you're shooting any kind of slingshot, whether it's darts or ball bearings, you can't hit your hand and you can't hit your frame. And I would argue that shooting yourself with a ball bearing on a bare hand is going to cause more damage than hitting yourself in the hand with a dart when you're wearing that glove. So there's a risk with shooting a slingshot, full stop, or as the Americans say, period. Anyway, more, let's get on to more comments. There was a lot of complaints about the SAS frame, saying it's terrible design for the darts, it's so close to your hand, why don't they design a better slingshot with higher forks? So let me break that down. For a start, the SAS frame is a slingshot. Um, it was a slingshot before it was a dart shooting slingshot. I just shot the darts out of it. So this is just designed to be a small handheld slingshot and it is a good slingshot. Popular designs are small frames, handheld, finger and thumb brace with low forks. And I'll explain low forks to you. When I'm drawing the bands back, the closer the forks is to my hand, the less strain is on my wrist. If my forks are out there, I've created a bigger pivot and it's more force, it's harder to draw. The comeback to that is, well why don't you just use a wrist brace slingshot? The slingshot community kind of use wrist braces like training wheels on a bike, stabilizers. And in fact, in competition shooting, your wrist braces aren't allowed because it's like training wheels. So I just use this slingshot. This is a great little slingshot. You put any bands you want on this, you can shoot ball bearings. If you're game enough, you can shoot the darts from it. You can sh that's the thing, you can shoot the darts from any slingshot. 
I'm gonna have got a I'm shooting the darts today out of a black widow which is a wrist brace slingshot a vintage black widow from the 1980s that I modified to shoot flat bands on a slot attachment and I'm gonna put the video up here of me modifying this it's a couple of years old but I had fun doing it I want you to see the video if you're interested anyhow this is a modified slingshot for flat bands and this is what I shot the darts from I can shoot these darts from any slingshot this will work as a slingshot to shoot ball bearings it'll work as a slingshot to shoot darts I modified it to make the forks lower and to use this slot attachment and I'm shooting through the forks that means the projectile is going through the forks like this these bands can be attached to any slingshot frame a slingshot that you make, a slingshot that you buy, any slingshot frame you can attach them with a clipped method which is the modern style you can lash them on with a method called wrap and tuck you use a small piece of elastic and you bind them on you can bind the bands for the darts onto any frame you like and people are talking about designs oh why don't they de design it, it better so the slingshot is a shield instead of wearing the glove you can get slingshots like that you can get them on AliExpress like I talked about in my previous video um, slingshot dart fishing in China is a, is a big thing loads of guys do it you'll find loads of videos online if you put in um, dart fishing with a slingshot and if you go on to AliExpress or some of these websites you can find um, like wrist rockets as guys call them that have got shields all built in and they've got little rails at the bottom and you can attach the line to the back of the dart and there's barbs in the dart they're designed for fishing there's loads of them out there so you know you can whatever design you choose you can shoot the darts from that's what I'm saying and there's a absolute ocean of slingshot designs out there an ocean of them you can shoot them from any design this is a little I wanted to show today shooting them in a different design this like I said it's the modified Black Widow and you know what it shoots them lovely I actually nearly prefer it to the SES to shoot the darts not because it's safer or any of that jazz but because the uh, fork width is narrower it better suits aiming for me with the darts I can aim these darts and if you're interested in learning how to aim a slingshot go and check out my playlist up here um, I've got really good how to aim a slingshot videos and the same rules apply to aiming a slingshot and shooting a ball bearing as they do the darts the darts are just a little bit more kind of mad max do you know what I mean but you know this is a great little setup and I just wanted to show that the darts can be shot with anything you know and if if you're scared of hitting your hand and you're thinking I'm going to hit my hand, I'm going to hit my hand, I'm going to hit my hand that's whenever you're going to hit your hand you know I'm not wearing the glove now I'm willing to take the risk I haven't I've been doing this a long time guys I've, I've been shooting slingshots for over 10 years I've been shooting them very well look I know accidents can happen but you know I can get into an accident when I'm driving my car you know it, you can weigh up your own risk these are sniper sling darts and they're great them two is nearly stacked on top of each other the, the darts are phenomenal like I said in the last video if you're in some post apocalyptic world these are a great option that, that's another thing Guy said um, I actually just hit <laughs> I actually just hit the end of another dart with that dart <laughs> that's how that's how tight I'm getting my grip and so I'm not scared of hitting my hand um, what was I going to say yeah another comment I got in the video I would just rather shoot my compound bow or I would rather shoot a recurve bow or whatever that's fine you know it, isn't it fantastic to have options but can you put your recurve bow or your compound bow into your pocket and nobody knows it's there. No, you can't. It's like anything else. The darts have their place. It's a small, compact, 
incredibly powerful setup. Think of the potential that you have with something like this. I've got a pocket full of darts. I've got a fold and wrist brace slingshot. Pop that on my body warmer. Zip up my pocket. Nobody would suspect a thing. What am I going to do? Have my... Oh, I'd rather shoot my recurve bow. That's fine. Shoot your recurve bow. But what am I going to do? Walk around my recurve bow across my chest? You know what I mean? Can you shoot a recurve bow in a tight space? Really, really tight space? No. But you can shoot your dart. So, pros and cons with everything, guys. And uh, like I said, the SES frame is a great little frame. It's not designed for the darts. It's just a sniper sling design. And he sent me one of these and four to give away and we're going to announce the, the four winners at the end of the video who are going to get their free frame. But you can shoot darts with this. This is just a slingshot. You can shoot darts with any slingshot. That's my point. So I hope that cleared up a lot of questions for you guys. And... Uh, yeah, if you have any more or if you want to put any of your points across, let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to get back to you. I read all my comments and I really appreciate you guys and I appreciate everybody that watched the last video and liked and commented and pumped it up. The last video done 1.1 million views in a month, which is outstanding, best I've ever done personally on my channel, so really appreciate it. So let's do a few more shots with the darts and then we'll go and we'll find out who our lucky 4R that won four little SES frames. Yeah, I just <laughs> thought I'd show you guys my grouping on them th uh, four shots that I just done. And this dart actually hit this one here and ricocheted off the collar. So, out there, th them three darts, although I was aiming here, these three darts are in a one inch group. And I've just started using this wrist rocket, this. Uh, modified black widow today so that would be very easy for me to practice and adjust and get that down in here so these darts are extremely accurate if you haven't seen the first video go and take a look at it it was really good i'm really pleased with how it turned out and how many people viewed it and stuff like that but yeah fantastic group in there with the modified wrist rocket all right Let's pop these three balloons. We'll use our imagination. They're three enemies or three rabbits or whatever we're, whatever we're shooting at. Okay, so we'll go for the green one first. We're about 15 meters away. These darts fly really straight. They're really accurate. And you can put these bands onto any frame you like. If you want to get into darts and you're not a big slingshot shooter, what I'd recommend is get a regular slingshot first, practice with that, become proficient, and then, if you wish, have a go with the darts. Just a bit high, them bands are really powerful. Okay, welcome to the shop, our giveaway. So, we've got four SES frames to give away, thanks to Sniper Sling. I'm going to keep the red one. We've got a grey, a green, a black, and a blue so our four winners are Old Ricky Vapor ATO Mark Miller and Frank Shanley well done guys 
drop me a message on my website or my Facebook or my Instagram. My website's down here. You'll find links to my Facebook and Instagram elsewhere. Guys, if you've made it this far in the video, really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for all your support. We're on nearly 100k subscribers now, which has kind of been a dream of mine, a goal of mine that I've set from way back. Never seemed possible, but hey-ho, here we are. All using my phone or my GoPro. Everything I film is filmed on a phone. I don't have any kind of fancy equipment. Although I have got these two um, Rode Wireless Go mics now. So if you guys have noticed an improvement in the audio, let me know. Let me know what you think. Uh, I think it's a lot better, although there can be a bit of noise. Let me know if it's annoying. I'll try and change it up, so sort it out. But anyway... There are four winners of our Sniper Sling giveaway. Thank you, Sniper Sling, for sponsoring the giveaway, do, giving me the frames to give away to you guys for watching. Um, thanks for all your support. Um, and that's it. I've got a, it's coming up to Christmas now. It is the, it's one week today till Christmas, seven days to Christmas. So, I don't know when I'm going to upload this. I might upload it tonight. I don't know. But besides the point, really appreciate you guys watching and stuff. Um, and you've been doing, you've been really helping me out with your likes and your subs and your comments. Check out the new website. Let me know what you think of it. We've got all the Titan Hunters, Companions and Classics for sale. They've been selling really well. We've done a uh, Black Friday sale. Which has kept me extremely busy. Um, but I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. We have... Uh, I think I think I'm going to do another seal on Boxing Day or something like that. A New Year's seal. Um, and I'll try and thin out some of my stock. So, that's it for this time, guys. Stay tuned over the holidays. I've got a lot of stuff coming. A lot of new videos. I'm going to start branching out. We're going to do different types of things. Um... We've got another build video coming up of a special fork, a mesquite fork from America. My friend Marcus Corney sent me. I'm going to send Marcus a slingshot for, for sending me that. I appreciate it, Marcus, if you're watching. And yeah, loads of interesting stuff coming, guys. If you guys have any videos you wish me to do, drop them down in the comments. I'll take a look. I'll see what I can do. Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching.